And for more on this, Dan Ackerman, editor-in-chief of Internet Tech Blog Gizmodo, joins me now. So, Dan, another day, another social network, seemingly. What is Meta trying to do here? I mean, who is this for, and do you think it'll ultimately succeed? Yeah, I think since the beginning of the Elon Musk era, a lot of people have seen an opportunity to get into the space that Twitter had and provide an alternative, and they haven't really worked out, whether it's Mastodon or Blue Sky, they're just too diffuse, too complicated. If you have a mega brand like Instagram, which is really Facebook, which is really meta behind it, then at least they have a chance, and a lot of people see this as, as the first real competitor that could draw people away, because it's the right time, it, because Twitter is really floundering right now. Well, you mentioned that Threads is just one of the many Twitter alternatives out there right now. So how does it compare not only to Twitter, but to other similar apps? You mentioned Blue Sky, backed by former Twitter boss Jack Dorsey. I, I know, I understand that they have a very long wait list of folks who are itching to get on Blue Sky. So how does this Threads compare? Yeah, a, you know, a wait list helps you out initially in terms of building some buzz, but if the wait list is too long, people are going to move, lose interest and, and move away. And other things like Mastodon were just too complicated to use, didn't replicate all the functionality that people liked about Twitter. Uh, we don't know how Threads is going to do yet. It's going to launch tomorrow, uh, but certainly people already have an emotional connection to Instagram. And if they can carry some of that over to this new app, including their followers, including a lot of the functionality, at least I think it has a fighting chance, if only because... Uh, Twitter has made so many unforced errors lately, as in within the last week. Right, it, true. So this comes as a, at a time that's a really challenging, difficult one for Twitter. I know they have a fresh new CEO. What does the future of Twitter look like to you? Well, the problem is people who have been loyal Twitter users for a long time, I think they're feeling chased away from the app. They're losing access to functionality and features. People who are verified have lost that verification badge, just been replaced by kind of a pay-to-play system. The content moderation has just completely disappeared. So people feel it's, it's a toxic environment. It's not as useful or fun to be on or as informative. Uh, will Threads be able to replace that? You know, we don't know yet, uh, but I think that Instagram slash Facebook slash Meta at least has the back end and place to be able to take care of the moderation and make people feel more comfortable. So same question for Meta. I mean, Facebook literally renamed itself Meta, right, to focus on the metaverse. But we've really seen little tangible progress there. Even shareholders have become very frustrated with the company. Now it's working on this Twitter alternative. So what's going on at Meta? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, maybe they should have renamed themselves after an AI play instead of a metaverse play because that ended up being, you know, much more popular. I don't think the metaverse idea is dead yet. Maybe we're going to have to change the name, but these shared experiences online through headsets, you know, Apple is in that game now, so it's kind of revitalized in a way. Uh, but it's interesting to me that in the case of Threads in particular, they're not using the Facebook or the meta name. They're using that Instagram name, which just I feel has has more public cachet. People have warmer feelings towards it. <laughs> Warm and fuzzy feelings towards threads. We'll see. Yet to be seen. Dan Ackerman, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.